Our next guest says shoppers aren't buying into the hype. Marcus Giesler, chair and professor in the marketing department at York University's Schulich School of Business. He joins us today from downtown Toronto. Thank you for your time. You're welcome, Beverly. So, Marcus, given the hype and the fact that you were just looking at someone who's been camped out since Monday, but you say Black Friday is on the decline. How come? Uh, Black Friday is indeed on the decline, and it has a number of reasons. Uh, for one, um, consumers, uh, as was already mentioned here, have the chance now to go for good deals pretty much every day of the year. So every day is a Black Friday. And the other thing is that consumers are increasingly looking for good deals online. So brick and mortar has to increasingly compete with online retail. And that has led for Black Friday as a cultural event, as a ritual, and as a deal day of the year to uh, lose a little bit of its significance. And on this side of the border, when we talk about Black Friday, which crept up here, when we look at, for example, Boxing Day, years ago it was Boxing Day. Now it's Boxing Week and then Boxing Two Weeks and then Boxing Month. And is that part of it too, that the season is just longer? Yes, of course. Commercial interests and uh, companies have had uh, a lot of uh, initiative and a lot of activities in extending those days to uh, weeks and then to months. Uh, what you also have to keep in mind is that we have uh, generally, as consumers, been socialized into this perception that uh, good deals are to be had pretty much every day around the year. And uh, that has led many of us to sort of lean back in anticipation of tomorrow and say, you know what, I'm going to actually not go to uh, endure the shopping mall, a mass pandemonium. I'm not going to endure the 401 to get there, uh, for instance, here in Toronto. And what about for the, the, you know, the standby things that a lot of people think you're always going to get a deal on, so for the tech companies or electronics? Uh, it's true that in some segments and in some industries, um, actually very attractive deals are to be expected this year. And this Christmas season in particular, um, we as experts are looking at the Internet of Things and we're looking at tech companies and uh, smart home companies, of which, uh, of course, there are many uh, Canadian companies as well. Uh, whose deals are expected to be quite attractive. So we see a shift a little bit away from sort of uh, the, the, the fashion or the, the Bay uh, type uh, department store experiences to more specialized technology experiences for sure. Okay, Marcus Geisler, Chair and Professor in the Marketing Department at York University's Schulich School of Business. Thank you. You're welcome.